hey there, it is white out. Now, in an older video, I talked about all the things that are pretty damaging for latex. If you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out that video. It covers things that could inadvertently destroy your latex, such as different types of metals or different types of lubes. There's a lot that can ruin your latex, and as I'm sure we all know, latex is a pretty fragile material. So definitely recommend checking that out. But one of the things I had mentioned in that video was the use of leather polishes and leather conditioners, because those could also have an adverse effect on latex just looking at the different chemicals that are used within those conditioners. So I took a couple rubber samples, one from a company called Euro Cat Suits, another from Mr. S, and another from Latex Catfish, and I sent these rubber samples off to Demi Design, who creates his own leather pup hoods, fantastic products, highly recommend checking out his website, but he was able to use these leather conditioners on the latex and kept it there for a week and we were able to see how the rubber actually responded to these conditioners. Now this is a bit of an extreme case type scenario. Most people aren't applying leather conditioner directly to the latex, but this could be an issue if say you just got some brand new leather or you just came back from the boot black and all of this freshly cleaned leather now comes in contact with your rubber. So take it from here, Demi, let's see how these leather conditioners actually responded to the latex. All right, we're gonna do this little test here. I did a prior test where I took treated leather with different things on it and I set it on top of rubber. Did not get any real results. This was as a uh, by request for um, whiteout. These, we took the finishes and we applied it directly to the rubber rather than having it set into the leather and then putting it on it because that didn't provide any, um, it didn't seem to provide any negative effects after an extended period of time being exposed to the rubber. So these are some common finishes that we use on our hoods here. We tested Aussie, which is a leather conditioner with wax in it. Um, we applied that directly to the first swatch. Um, Neat's foot oil, which is used to soften leather. Bic number four, which is a, a very common leather treatment, as well as resiny, which is an acrylic based finish for leather. Between these four, you should basically get results for most leather products out there as to whether the finishes could possibly be harmful to rubber. And we've got a few different samples of rubber here. I tried to use the colored ones when possible, um, but for the Mr. S, all I had was black. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here's the Euro Cat Suit sample, sample here. Um, the first one's Aussie. You can see the streaks where the Aussie was on. It's a waxy um, finish. Um, I only applied it to half of it, so this half over here has the Aussie, this one was normal so that we can see normal. And the Aussie does not appear to have affected it after one week. It seems stretchy as can be, and I don't see any harm to it. Now Aussie is a um, beeswax based leather conditioner. It also has some oils in it to help treat the leather, but uh, from what I can tell, it doesn't seem to have harmed it. It seems stretchy, the color seems good, so we'll leave that a bit longer. So here's the Neat's Foot. If there's any that does anything to it, I would think it's the Neat's Foot since it's a pure oil. Um, and it appears that both sides are the same it's stretchy, seems strong, no discoloration. Uh, we'll go on to the Bic 4. Also seems to be fine. And finally the Resline. The Resline is an acrylic finish, so I don't expect it to do any damage to any of them at all. And again, no damage. Um, they all feel just like rubber should feel. Um, so I would think if you wash it off, it would be fine. This is after five days of sitting on it. Um, if you've got something sitting against your rubber that's covered in oil like that, then it, it's just not something you should do. But if you're wearing gear that's treated in this stuff, uh, it looks like the Euro Cat Suits is not going to be um, harmed by it at all, even if it's not fully soaked into the into the rubber. 
So we'll go ahead and take a look at the Mist Rest now. This sample was done on the same day and we'll go ahead and look at the Aussie. And this one, the rubber is much different. I don't know if you can tell when I'm pulling it. Um, it feels almost thinner and looser. Yeah. Let's see. So you can see that's right about where I... It doesn't like the Aussie. The section that I didn't put it on is fine, but this section here that that it was applied to uh, is much more thin and brittle. Um, I don't know if you can see that that spot right there. Um, that's not good. That These were all perfectly okay when I put it together. So that was definitely not something that it liked. So the Aussie and the Mr. S do not mix. So here's the Neats foot and the Neats foot I would expect, yeah, is going to do the same thing. It's not nearly as bad as the Aussie was. Um, the Aussie was much worse. The Neats foot is bad, but not nearly as bad. I'm not seeing the thin spots in it like I was with the Aussie. Um, but you can tell there's a there's a different texture between the side it was applied to and the side it was not, and it ripped right right about where that was. So I would expect the big four yep is gonna do the same thing. Um, actually, that's just big four on top that's making that discoloration. Um, it appears the big four is okay. I'm not. I'm not feeling any difference in the texture. There's some discoloration, but it's just a film of the Big Four sitting on top. That seems okay. So Big Four doesn't seem to have hurt at all. Um, I would think clean it off and it'll be good to go again. Um, so Big Four is good and the Resilin is Perfect. Uh, Resoline's an acrylic finish, um, so I would expect no different. So Aussie and Needs Foot Oil with the Mr. S did not agree at all. Finally, we've got the Latex Catfish. Um, let's check the Aussie again. I don't see any discoloration on it, and. It appears to be strong. We're giving it a good good tug here. And it feels fine. And now we'll try the Neats foot here. That appears to be just fine as well. I would have expected similar results across the board. I'm wondering if the Mr. S is a um different a completely different supplier yeah it seems just as stretchy as can be the big four oh, I'm pulling it out for me. big four seems all right as well stretchy pliable no discoloration and finally the resilin which again resilin I, I don't feel will hurt it at all I finish all of my um, all of my hoods with resilin by the way so to ensure if you want to wear them on top of rubber you're not going to have any issues um, I'm not not seeing any issue here um, so it seems as though the latex catfish in the euro cat suits the two orange ones here um, seem to have done perfectly fine with even the neat's foot in the Aussie um, those were the two I expected the worst results out from because they've got the highest oil content. Um, and then we've got the Mr. S here, which um, might be a slightly thinner uh, latex here. 
these were samples provided by Whiteout, so uh, it might be a slightly thinner latex. I'm not sure. He might remember what he sent me. But um, definitely these two samples were fine. I, I had stretched them all, made sure there were no weak spots in any of my samples before I put them on there. So, in any case, yeah, some, some interesting results. I expected them all to be the same, but clearly the Mr. S is considerably different. These all seem just fine. Kind of surprising. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to some people, or at least interesting. Um, have a good one. All right, so hopefully you were able to learn something from that. Big thanks again to Demi Design for making this little experiment and seeing how exactly the rubber responds to these different types of leather polishes. Thank you again for everyone watching. This was a bit of a short video, but stay tuned. There's more on the way. In the meantime, see y'all later.